morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 7th, 2023. I am once again recording from the Doan University here in Nebraska, and uh, this is the next day of my carving class here. And so I wanted to do a quick video this morning. It's going to be probably a little shorter than normal because I'm running a bit behind. So first off, taking a look at the diamonds here today. Well, I probably should say that there was a little bit of pressure uh, last night from Asian markets. China's exports fell by 7.5%, really showing us the weakness of the consumer here uh, in the United States starting to develop pretty strongly so uh, keep an eye on that consequently um, asian markets had a kind of a rough night and european markets are uh, struggling a little bit this morning as well if you'll take a look here at the diamonds uh, pre-market we've got a little bit of a sell starting to happen here um, in the pre-market now that can change a lot based on the data that we've got coming today but you'll want to watch that closely. Now, having said that, right now this pattern is a bullish pattern. We've rallied up. We're still holding that uh, support level here in the chart. So no reason to believe yet that we're going to fail. As a matter of fact, I would be watching for that opportunity that we might go long if we can hold this area here. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration today, well, I'm going to suggest that we retest this high up here on last Friday, see if we can break through that resistance area. If they can do that, then we will push on up and maybe retest this bigger resistance level here in the chart. On um, the bearish side of things, if the bears find inspiration and we were to break this low of yesterday, then I would suggest that that next space for us to go to is the low on Friday in here, last Friday pushing back down to test some of these support levels here in the chart. You can see quite a few areas in here of price support in there. So watch that. And then, you know, it'd be a pretty painful day if we had enough selling to break that down and drop into the gap here from Friday. But a fill of that gap uh, coming down here would be kind of a painful, uh, painful drop in the market. Now, technically speaking, and when we look at the technicals of the chart, um, we have a 50-day moving average also right down there on yesterday's low. So it's possible we not we and a bit of a moving average squeeze there. Um, if we were to pull back into that 50, we could bounce again. So just keep a close eye on that. If we were to uh, take a look at our SPY, SPY holding in there, very, very bullish. Nice little consolidation up here against that next resistance level in the chart. And I would suggest if we find bullishness today, then we would test to see whether we can break through that level right there. If the bears were to find inspiration today, I would look for a retest back down into here and possibly even a pushback or consolidation down here into this upside trend. Now, keeping in mind, this is a very, very bullish chart. There's nothing in the chart right now that suggests bearishness at all. We just have that. Uh, little problem um, coming in from Asia and that little bit of pressure coming in and then of course we have some economic data today that certainly has the potential to move us. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ, absolutely nothing wrong with this chart as you can see staying very very strong holding up in this consolidation area. I will say that volume um, has been just a little bit light in here We'll want to watch that carefully um, as this consol consolidates because if we were to pull back into the support, you can imagine just how painful that would be. That's a fairly sub significant pullback. Not saying that's going to occur, but perhaps what we're doing is we're just going to consolidate here for a period of time and just rest uh, back out here to this longer term trend so that we can um, gain that energy to move on higher. Very extended here. Remember, we still have just a handful of the big techs doing the majority of the lifting. If the bulls were to find inspiration today, then the only place we really have to go is up here into these 
um, reaches of resistance up in here, and I would look for an attack into that area. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also rallying up um, strongly yesterday, had a nice little pop breaking through um, some of that resistance in the chart, and as you can see, nice little hold of this price support. So the question now is can IWM push on through and maybe drive up in here if those bulls can um, retest that resistance up here, push on through and break up into that area. If they're unable to do that, then I would look for those bears maybe to pull this back a little bit and relieve some of that um, upside pressure here and see if we can get a stronger test of that support in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX in here dropping below 14 handles into the 13 handle range. We're reaching that pretty severe uh, complacency zone here in the market. So just kind of keep an eye on that. When we start reaching complacency in the market and everybody thinks there is never going to be a sell-off, that's usually when um, we get that major surprise and get that sell-off. So just keep an eye out for it. If the bears really were to start coming in, uh, they might come in aggressively. Now, keeping that in mind, if they can continue to push lower, um, the next level of support down in here is quite a ways down here. As you can see, we'd probably be down in this range right in here around uh, 11 um, area, which is really extreme complacency in the market. You know, considering our economic numbers, uh, just remarkable resiliency in this market and, and a willingness to buy in spite of that. If you um, see the bears get a little bit feisty here today, then look for us to maybe cross back up in here uh, through that 14 handle, maybe up toward that 15. Notice we've got resistance in there. They'd have to get pretty aggressive to cross right back up into this area up toward that 18 handle area of the chart. If we take a look at our T2122, I need to scroll this over here and I apologize because I am working from a single screen here. You can see our T2122 is right back up here at a um, bearish reversal zone, very high in the chart. Um, and that suggests that if you're long any positions right now, it'd be a good time to start watching for those potential ways to close down those trades and take some of those profits. If you're looking for some short trades, this would be the time to start maybe looking for some of those short trades for a little bit of rest and pullback in the market. Now remember, T2122 doesn't tell us when it's going to occur. Um, uh, any kind of pullback or rest is going to occur. It just tells us when the possibility exists that it could. So just be um, on guard for that. Now, if we have bullish upside opportunity today, just notice we don't have too far to go. There's never been a time where T2122 breaks over 100. Just, it doesn't happen um, the way that the indicator is designed. So that means we really don't have too far that we can move to the upside. Um, I'm gonna give the bears a little bit of edge here now um, for a little bit of rest or consolidation. Remember, it can just be a consolidation that eases the pressure here on T2122 and allows us to go on higher. But if the bears were to aggressively come in, just kind of keep in mind that we've got a big downside opportunity that could happen if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 also stretching up there to the upside yesterday. 57%, almost 58% of the stocks reaching up there into uh, uh, that above 40 day moving average area. Notice that we're pushing up here into some more resistance in the chart. So we broke through this nicely. This has the bulls in control. There's nothing here that says that they're um, willing to weaken yet. But that T2122 has given us that clue. It could happen at any time. So watch that closely. Don't be too surprised if we pull back. Now, if we pull back, there's plenty of support in here. So nothing really to worry about here if we can hold the support levels. Our T2107. Also had a nice little rally yesterday to test this resistance in the chart. Now, we still have this pesky little... Um, 
head and shoulders pattern here, but we've extended this side out over here so long, we may actually just be breaking that downtrend and holding a higher low for that upside move. But if this resistance were to hold in this chart, we'll want to pay attention to that and um, kind of keeping in mind if we were to pull back the, the support levels down in here. Right now, 46% of the stock's holding above their 200 day. That's improving, looking good. So now the question is, will we hold um, in this if we do catch a pullback in the market? Our T2101, well, our T, oops, just a second. Our T2101 also stretched up there yesterday, getting a little bit to the extension in here that's showing that little bit of momentum um, in that upside move. Watch that closely right here, though, as we're running into that downtrend resistance. And if we do see that little bit of bearishness coming in with those export drops and concerns about recession, then um, a reversal here could come back down and just ease some of that upside pressure. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And just a second, I've got to scroll all the way back here on my chart. There we go. Um, our economic calendar today, as you can see, got a little bit that we'll have to be paying attention to here this morning. We've got mortgage applications coming in this morning, international trade in goods. Um, that number has been just horribly bearish, and we've been ignoring it. Um, one of these days, some of these economic numbers are not going to be ignored, and the bears will come in um, and maybe make an attack um, occur. We, we can ignore these things for a certain period of time, but we can't ignore them forever if our economy is weakening. Uh, then we'll um, want to keep an eye on petroleum status here. We've got a four-month bond auction and consumer credit coming in here later today. Probably not going to move the market at all. Just remember as you're planning forward into Thursday, we've got jobless claims, host element tours, natural gas, and pretty much a light week overall in the market, but you never know when something might cause uh, the market to stumble, so pay attention to those economic reports. Now on the earnings calendar today, we really don't have much for notables in here to pay attention to. Um, let's go through um, a few of those notables this morning. Campbell Soup will be reporting today. Looks like they tried to pop up for dropping back down, a little pop and drop going on in there. You want to keep an eye on that. Campbell Soup has been struggling here a little bit on that downside move like a lot of the, the defensive stocks have. So watch that closely. If that uh, gains a little bit of bullish um, energy, then we could start uh, coming back up in that chart. Um, if we move on from there, we've got the old furniture store, Lovesack, that we'll be reporting today. Um, stretching up in the, the pre-market move on this. Um, must have liked the earnings report already this morning. Watch that closely. Stretching into some price resistance up in here. At any point in time, this could catch a little bit of pullback, but if they can keep that bullish activity going, maybe they'll stretch right on through on that. Nice improvement in that chart. Let's take a peek. Um, the old Ollie, um, it'll be reporting here today, the outlet. Um, bargain outlet um, retail so you want to keep an eye on those anything in retail I think right now is important now there is a pattern here that does concern me when we uh, oftentimes see a big failure like that and then a big sweeping rally right back up to price resistance that's an um, opportunity that could set up a short trade so watch that carefully if this reports well and jumps above that then I would say that's off the plate but if this shows a failure occurring in here might be an interesting short to be paying attention to. And then um, UNFI, UNFI will be reporting today. Nice little bottoming pattern in here, but we're struggling with some energy to, to move up. And we know that some of these um, food defensive sector stocks have been struggling here quite a bit recently. And then last but not least, DRNT will be something to be paying attention to here today. Um, keeping in mind, nice little upside rally going on, but longer term, 
we've got a little bit of downtrend in here that we need to break through and some resistance in the chart that could be a little bit stubborn to break through. We hop on through that and hold, then we might be um, looking for some upside in here and too. Let's um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, guys. But if this is, but before I do that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that would be to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to grow. Um, I know these videos are not here uh, this week, been all that stellar and sound and public picture, but hopefully they've been helpful to some of you. And um, I, you know, I'm very limited on what I can do um, while I'm here. So um, hopefully you understand. Let's take a look at a few stocks that might be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. I think you're going to have to do, be kind of careful here watching because of that extension in T2122, watching for that possible pullback here in the market. First off, let's take a look at DraftKings. DraftKings is one uh, that's kind of interesting. We've been hating on uh, the uh, brick and mortar uh, casinos here quite a bit, but online gambling seems to be really strong and healthy. So watch that carefully. Breaking through some resistance here yesterday. Notice we're testing that shooting star top up here. See if we can pop on through, but that is a very, very bullish pattern. Any rest or pullback in here that would occur, I'm not saying it will, but if it does occur, sets up a, uh, a nice upside opportunity. Let's take a look in that energy sector. You know, energy continues to struggle with um, the news and the data out here and that demand destruction from the consumer. We're trying to struggle between uh, what OPEC's going to do, what they're not going to do, if they're going to cut production or not cut production. It's voluntary right now, but we've seen um, our supplies be, um, well, a little bit back and forth here in, uh, in the market, showing a, a bit of that demand destruction where folks are just pulling back here. Now, if we can break this above this downtrend resistance, I'm going to probably be getting into some energy, but until that occurs, I'm a little bit concerned that we could rally into this and then keep looking to the downside, particularly if we start to see numbers that uh, that uh, demand is starting to drop here in the market or even drop further. If we take a look at um, natural gas, I'm going to look at UNG here for natural gas. Boy, natural gas, you know, you would think that we're never going to need it again. But um, breaking down here to these lows here again, showing lots of bearishness in that. Um, so much bearishness that I want to watch this pretty closely for that potential of an upside move. Just um, we're certainly going to need natural gas, so just watch that close. Um, then let's take a look. Um, I was looking at some of the um, refiners out there in the market. Sometimes you can get some clues about the strength of the market if you look at the refiners. I do like the possibility of this double bottom in here on Valero. It's not ready for prime time yet. For me, that's got to break this downtrend, pop up there, um, break some resistance, hold a higher low, and establish that upside trend. And then I'm interested in the chart. But I do think there um, might be some opportunities coming in that because clearly we're still going to need uh, those kind of companies as well. Let's take a look at some retail here. WMT might be an interesting short setting up. This breakdown here of this price support and we're rallying back to this resistance area in the chart. Um, I would watch for that and maybe even better call credit spreads or something like that with your short strike above this resistance might be interesting in the chart for those um, short strike tra or um, um, premium traders might be worth paying attention to. Now, keeping in mind, it is in an upside trend here overall, but might be running into a little bit of a problem. You can see right in here, this is the classic pattern that I look for for a short, and that's a failure where we drop below the 50, rally back up here. See all of our moving average congestion right in here? That's where we could run into that problem. Have a nice little shooting star in here going on in that potential failure 
that could occur in the year soon. So keep an eye on WMT. Let's also take a look um, over here at Target. Target just fell off the map here in the chart and you know they've got a couple issues one of them being a kind of a political issue going on and um, some downgrades happening so watch that carefully here I think any rally back now in Target rally back up to that resistance area in the chart would set up that next opportunity short in there so keep a close eye on that when, we, when we're seeing retail struggling this much in the market it says that the consumers are kind of weak so just be a little bit careful keep an eye on the ball out there guys be careful today have an awesome awesome day i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning really appreciate it wish you all of the best have a great day mm -hmm.